Welcome back. You're still watching uh, Nile Cruz on uh, Nile TV from the house of the late Prince of Poets, uh, Ahmed Shawi. We spoke about the history of Egypt, the history of uh, the museum of Ahmed Shawi, and the history of uh, the country as well in the uh, other parts of the episode. But today we'll be speaking more about the future of uh, the country and a campaign named uh, The Land of uh, Civilization. It's about tourism, promoting tourism through the Egyptians and more specifically through the youth of Egypt. We'll be speaking more about this campaign in this part of the episode of uh, Nile Cruz. And I'm honored to be having with me on the program today uh, Muhammad Durgham, a member of the campaign of the Land of Civilization, uh, Jana Abdul Manaim, a member of uh, the campaign, and uh, uh, Karim Muhammad, who is also a member of the campaign. Thank you very much for being with us today on Nile Cruz. Uh, welcome, and uh, we have the pleasure to have you with us in Nile Cruise today. Ahmed, the theme of the campaign is uh, a country you will never forget. Uh, why did you uh, choose this theme to be um, the idea of your own? The campaign? name or the theme? I didn't hear you. Well. The theme. The theme. Uh, the mix uh, between uh, civilization and the old monuments uh, that uh, tourists come uh, from all, all over the world just to, thee, uh, just, uh, to uh, see them. Uh, the main idea of uh, the campaign uh, that we, as a student activity, EYD student activity, invites foreign student activities from countries such as Russia, Belgium, uh, Ukraine, uh, or Hungary to come to Egypt uh, and to see uh, the monuments uh, and the museums of Egypt. Uh, we uh, let them uh, stay in a member's residence for free. Uh, we just let them pay for their uh, tickets. Uh, sometimes we uh, pay for transportations uh, to allow them uh, to, to repeat the, the, uh, their, uh, their visit again. And uh, it was uh, very successful. We uh, didn't uh, we didn't uh, face any uh, barriers. Uh, this is uh, the, the main idea of uh, the campaign. Yes. So, so uh, Jana, who came up with the idea, and how did you join the campaign? The uh, Ram came up with the idea, uh, and uh, I joined uh, uh, the student activity last year because uh, I really love the idea and then after that when he said we when he said the idea of this campaign uh, it was uh, very uh, good to do so uh, I joined <laughs> Karim um, uh, it's a wonderful of course idea um, uh, that you're working on to enhance tourism in the country which we really need nowadays for the stability of a country and security of a country um, uh, which university are three of you in and how did you um, uh, choose each other to be together in this special very campaign well we're all from MSA and uh, I actually didn't know Durham and Jannah like a year ago but uh, EYD joined us together. Like, I, I wanted to get into a student activity, and I found out that EYD was like probably the best of out that I can choose. So I went into EYD, and uh, I'm a media vice head. Uh, I like photography. So the Ram is like a really, really hyper guy and active. So. I loved, I loved it, like I love being active, so I got, I bumped into them. You're only three? Uh, no, we're uh, a lot of people, we're a team. We, we, uh, we are uh, 440 members. Wow. Uh, in uh, more than one university, uh, private and public universities. Uh, we share the same concept, we share our, our common beliefs. Uh, this is not our only campaign. Uh, we uh, created uh, a lot of other campaigns. Uh, we uh, created uh, the last year, uh, the Orphans Day, in uh, some area. Uh, uh, the kids were too happy. Uh, students themselves, uh, most of them uh, didn't uh, live or didn't participate in such an event. Uh, 
we, we all, all of the team, all of the 440 members, uh, we're pushing th hard effort. But before we gathering the team, sometimes it may end in the wrong way. It it just was uh, sometimes end in a random way. Uh, so we decided to gather in one team in uh, all of the Egyptian universities, or most of them. We didn't reach it all, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, this year, we uh, targets uh, to uh, increase our numbers. We want to increase our events, uh, our unique ideas, our unique beliefs, which we are believe in. Sometimes uh, members put an unexpected effort in days between final exams, uh, days b between exams, sometimes members came from a, a really large distance from, from away just to, to participate in an event that he will not gain a tangible benefit from it. Experience, they just help to help each other uh, it's, it was a unique idea. Speaking of uh, the students, uh, Jenna, who come here from, uh, as Durham said, uh, from Russia, from Ukraine, from Belgium, from all over the world, uh, the response, did you meet up with them? How was the response upon coming to Egypt and going to the monuments and visiting uh, different sites in the country? And is it just about the pyramids and the Sphinx and uh, those sightseeing places or different places like Hurghada, Sharm el-Sheikh, Dahab? Uh, they were very impressed by Egypt. They loved it. Uh, they loved the idea of uh, exchanging cultures between uh, both countries. Uh, yeah, we, if we can do it, uh, we can go to other uh, uh, places like Hurghada, Sharm el-Sheikh and all of that, these. We can uh, also travel to Luxor and Aswan. Uh, for, but for now, we're doing it in Cairo. Uh, we're taking them uh, to visit uh, the pyramids. Uh, we're taking them to a Nile cruise. Uh, we're going to different places, to like Khan uh, al-Khalili. They, they really like that uh, they can sit with Egyptian people. They can get to know uh, what we really do from, mo from morning till night. That's what they really loved about. Durham, tell me about um, the challenges that are facing you because these trips, they need money, you need sponsors, you need, we don't need to have the names of the sponsors, but the <laughs> challenges that are facing you. And how did the idea come up? Were you just interested in going to other places or were you more interested in making people and youth from all over the world come here and see the country? Uh, most of our challenges, uh, where uh, in the culture itself, as we uh, sometimes, we receive them, uh, receive the tourist uh, groups in our residence. And uh, it was difficult in the first time, uh, in the first tourist group. But then uh, the parents, the students uh, were more than expected. Uh, Helpfully, uh, they receive them in their uh, homes. Uh, sometimes they may receive them in hotels, uh, and we uh, we stay with them until the trip uh, ends. Uh, sometimes we uh, make them, and n not just uh, visiting the. The pyramids, uh, Sphinx, and all of these, they are obsessed with it. Uh, we, we, we sometimes offer them to, ju to see or to eat in uh, authentic Egyptian uh, cuisine restaurants. Uh, there are a lot, but they, they're probably they want to see the pyramids. Even if, uh, I interrupt you? Even if the time was not recommended. They just want to see the pyramids. They want to see it, however, whatever, whenever it, it, it takes from them.
Jana, um, uh, is there any collaboration between you uh, guys and the governmental organizations? Are they uh, of help? Is there organization between you and uh, the governmental organizations? Are <laughs> governmental organizations working in close um, collaboration with you guys and helping you on what you're doing? They are so helpful, but there is no, there is no uh, official collaboration between us and the ministry. There is no. There which, is no. which ministry do you want uh, exactly? Uh, ministry of Tourism or no, Ministry the, of Youth? Uh, the, 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 uh, no, the Ministry of Youth, we, uh, we participated in their events uh, as a partners. Uh, it wasn't originally uh, created by the EYD. Uh, but the Ministry of Tourism, we didn't, uh, we didn't work with them, unfortunately, uh, at any with their events. Um, do they know anything about your effort and the campaign that you're working on here in Egypt? We know uh, some people uh, in, the, uh, in the Ministry. Uh, they, they know about what uh, we are doing, but uh, official collaboration... Uh, it's difficult for a student for, for a two years student activity. Uh, sometimes we are uh, uh, self-funded. Exactly, that was what, yes. just, what I was just going to ask you. We are self-funded. So where do you get your expenses? Self-funded. Uh, we believing uh, that when we are inviting students from other cultures, religions, universities, continents uh, to join us in our uh, in our journey, sometimes they may uh, invite us to uh, to uh, to stay in their countries. Uh, we both it's a win-win situation. We both benefits from the the experience. They know our culture, uh, our daily uh, different uh, habits, uh, and we uh, know. Uh, another cultures and philosophies which is uh, important for us to deal with uh, any other uh, countries or any other different philosophies. Yes, uh, Karim, we spoke about the future, spoke about the youth from all over the world coming here to Egypt and uh, watching different sites and traveling to different parts of the country, but we are at the house of Ahmad Shawi, the museum sure. of yeah. Ahmad Shawi. Were you interested in poetry growing up or as a youth from all over the world, do you think that the youth are interested in poetry nowadays or not? Well, uh, like, I might say that this generation yes. might not be, but like, these days, I guess, like... What are you studying now? Engineering. Engineering, so that's why you're not yeah. interested in poetry. No, but, yes. but nowadays, nowadays, um, the old habits are starting to come back. Yes. It's and they're starting to read. Yeah. The cycle is repeating itself. Yes. So they're going to start reading. They're going to start reading our poetry. Mm. And Ara Arabian poetry is, is one of the, the best poetries in the world. Yes. And speaking of Ahmed Shawi, mm. yeah. Mm. He's one of the best. Yes. Okay, um, Jana, I want to ask you a question. What are the uh, initiatives that you're working on and what are the campaigns that you... What, 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 what's your basic role in what's happening here? Okay, uh, I'm the new president of EYD. Uh, I'm going to take over after the Rom, he's our founder and uh, last year's president. Uh, As the president, what are your responsibilities for the upcoming year? You should teach her. Yes, yeah. I'm, I'm still learning from him. Yes. He's helping me in everything. Uh, we created a lot of events last year, uh, such as, as I told you before, the Orphan's Day. We participated in other events, uh, such as the International Book Fair, uh, and edX, the Egyptian Defense Expo. We were organizers, translators, uh, and sometimes some member of, uh, of ours we're uh, helping uh, the people with disabilities in the International Book Fair to select uh, their books. Uh, sometimes. Are you studying engineering as well? Yes. Engineering? No, uh, management information 
What? Management information system. Ah, you'll be a good manager in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, I hope so. Yeah. Yes, you will be. Uh, there were uh, a lot of other events that we took uh, part of it, like the One World Summit uh, last year. It was an event about sustainable development and how youth has an important and essential part in sustainable development in our country according to Egypt Vision 2030 and Egypt Vision 2020. Uh, sustainable development uh, in our country uh, faced uh, a large growth uh, in the last years and we wanted to be a part of this growth. What are your dreams uh, of uh, tourism in Egypt, uh, uh, for tourism in Egypt, of course, and uh, to what extent do you see tourism nowadays? Do you see tourism at its peak? Do you see that tourism is enhanced? Or do you see that there's no tourism here in Egypt nowadays? Uh, enhanced, for sure. But to be honest, we need to put a larger effort. Uh, youth. I don't know... Uh, what are your recommendations? Social media international campaigns. We want to reach... Yes, we uh, internal tourism is important. But now, uh, for our conditions, we need uh, to invite all of our f for foreign friends, uh, foreign entities, any other uh, uh, foreign student activities, student unions, uh, they will repeat the, the, vi the visit again and we all as a country will benefit from their visit. So we need to put a larger and more efficient effort in this uh, important sector of our economy. Uh, for years, eco uh, tourism were, uh, was uh, the, uh, an important and essential part of our economy. So we need to enhance it and uh, I don't know how to say it but we, we need to, uh, to, to reach an extent we didn't reach it before yes, yes for our, eco yeah, for our eco economy of course to um, be better of course uh, Jana your final words May I say the final word? <laughs> say the final word. <laughs> I want to thank uh, our beloved two TV presenters. I want to thank uh, the, the hardworking staff uh, and the whole uh, Nile TV, Dr. Sami Sheikh and our all universities. I want to thank you all for, for inviting us, for being here. Thanks uh -huh. a lot. Thank you so thank you much, Kevin. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, Mohammed Dargham, the founder and the member of the campaign of the Land of Civilization. Uh, Jana Abdel Manam, the member of the same campaign, and uh, Karim Mohammed, the member of uh, the campaign. Thank you very much for being with us Thank today you. on uh, Nile Cruise. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, this uh, will be going out for a quick break, so stay tuned.